Hey guys, today we are working on another uh, 4th of July project and um, we have two houses, two wooden houses. These come in a two pack and uh, I painted one red and one blue and then you can see I just stressed that a little bit with some sandpaper. Just have some wooden block um, uh, sandpaper blocks and uh, sanded that down just a little bit. So uh, we are going to go ahead and get started. We'll start with the red and um, I'm obsessed with the stripes. I love them. Uh, so we're going to start at the bottom here and we're just going to add these stripes all the way down. Just like so. We'll leave that red tip and then start right here with the white, making sure the tape sound really well. Okay, so what I did was take a little bit of our white paste and watered it down just a tad and then um, we're just going to over just like that and it's a little watery so what we'll do is put a couple coats on we'll just dry it put a couple coats and then when I'm done I'll sand it down so that it looks uh, a little vintage like the the other red part okay let's take our drying tool Try again. Do one more coat just because we're gonna sand it. So I want to make sure that we're golden on the white. And I just realized that should be white. How about that?
painting with my left hand. This is as lazy as it gets. Don't worry about anything that bled through because we're going to sand it down anyway. Okay. I was thinking about creating some kind of embellishments too, but I'm going to have to think on the fly. So we're going to put this USA right there in the middle, grab our white paste. Established down here. Right in the middle. And then we're going to do a pattern in the middle. So let's take our itty bitty chalk couture tape. I like using this because it's uh, it's kind of like washi tape and it doesn't stick as much as the other. Go there. I'm gonna make sure that's nice and even. I need to come down just a little. doing is just going right in between the washi tape. I want I could make 
the border for that as well. Take that off. Finish off. So actually I think it looks good just like that. So I think it looks adorable. So we're gonna leave it just like that. And um, all we're going to do is sand these down just a little bit to make them uh, look as rustic as the other. And uh, it's gonna be perfect. So I'll show you the finished product in just a second.